30, I have a background in communication design. So my master's project was around how graphic design can improve the experiences of healthcare professionals, patients and their families in the environment of a stroke ward. So I ended up creating vinyl installations for the welcome area of North Shore Hospital Stroke Ward and also got the opportunity to um, install vinyl in, on one of the walls in the ward itself. Um, the vinyl is a story of the recovery journey for stroke patients. So it explains how patients go from like the darkness and confusion after experiencing a stroke to the hope and light that they receive or start to um, unfold and discover as they are recovering. So an unforeseen benefit of this installation was that the vinyl actually um, facil helped facilitate like therapeutic exercises that occupational therapists often help their patients and therefore added to the um, recovery process and rehabilitation process as well. That was quite cool and then obviously also um, uncovered that graphic design can have a um, positive impact on those in the healthcare setting. I learned a lot of things personally. I think I definitely grew as a designer in confidence, being able to talk to people and have those conversations and also um, stop being a perfectionist, although it took me a really long time. And just by uh, pushing ahead no matter what and creating these um, connections and relationships with people. You know, I think design definitely has the ability to impact those in the healthcare setting in a really big way. And I'm really happy that I got the opportunity to add to that in some ways in my project. Definitely difficult, like working with clients. It's really interesting though, because they have a different perspective than you get in a university setting. So obviously you have your lecturers and they know what your project's about and then explaining to um, clients and outside people what design is and the potential it has and why they should kind of have hope in it is something completely different and then also managing your time around their time, especially working with healthcare professionals, they have no time. So having to, um, you know, organise that work around that was new. Probably that I actually put something up. <laughs> At the start of my project I was so scared like I never, I don't like asking for help and I also don't like walking onto <laughs> other people's property and <laughs> putting up designs so that was definitely a big step so I think I've grown a lot in that way. Yeah, and I'm proud of myself for that and taking, taking multiple chances, even if I was so like out of my comfort zone.